<laughs> you will know Lonely heart you'll know Every life has meaning For I made it so and oh, you will know trouble hard to know. Every life has reason for I made it. So, oh, you know, lonely heart, you know, problems have solutions, trust and I will show. Oh, you will know. Yeah, y'all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you, Stevie, for that beautiful uh, song. Uh, I had to come on here, y'all, because uh, I had to share this article with you because, as y'all know, our Kelly's trial um, it's about to begin. It has begun. Um, I just thought it was very um, crazy um, that R. Kelly's lawyer, you know, right out the bat, you know, said something about, you know, Aaliyah can't testify being a victim in his sex crime case because she's dead. Wow. Um, part of the charges against R. Kelly involved allegations that he bribed a government official to give Aaliyah a fake ID, that Kelly married the late R&B singer when he was 27 and she was 15. Um, Kelly's lawyers told the jury that Aaliyah can't testify about being a victim in the case because she's dead. And I was just looking at going through a lot of these uh, couples in Hollywood and the age difference between them. Um, they did a big article on that for some reason. And it's amazing to me when you have guys like, uh, what's his name? Steven Tyler, you know, or these people who adopt people and end up molesting them. I'm not making any excuses for anybody that's perverted and wants to harm a child because you deserve exactly what you get. But I'm so sick of the hypocrisy. It's just so, it's just devastating. The hypocrisy is just devastating. Anyway, defense attorney for R. Kelly questioned the charges he faces in his federal sex crimes trial surrounding his marriage to Aaliyah, pointing out that the ironic, iconic R&B singer is dead and can't testify against her. In part of their wide-ranging indictment against R. Kelly, federal prosecutors in Brooklyn alleged that, the instruct, he, that he instructed an employee to bribe a government official to produce a fake ID for Aaliyah in 1994. And Kelly, who was 24 at the time, then married Aaliyah, who was only 15. Prosecutors said that Kelly first met Aaliyah when she was just 12. And allegedly, he started regularly having sex with her shortly after. But Barry Hankerson dropped her off and her mama dropped, dropped her off and put her in Hankerson's hands, right? Uh, Assistant U.S. Attorney Maria Cruz Melendez said in Wednesday's opening statement that 
procuring the fake ID was part of a harebrained scheme to silence Aaliyah. Aaliyah had told Kelly, whose real name is Robert Sylvester Kelly, that she was pregnant, Cruz Melinda said. Kelly believed Aaliyah couldn't make any criminal allegations of sexual misconduct against him if they were married, the prosecutor said. So he paid a local official $500 for a fake ID for the 15-year-old, then flew out to a Chicago hotel suite in the middle of the night and married her there. The marriage was annulled less than a year later. Aaliyah was killed in a plane crash in the Bahamas in 2001. Nicole Blank Becker, the attorney representing Kelly, pointed out in her opening statements Wednesday that the jury may hear testimony from Aaliyah's friends and family. Aaliyah herself could not possibly testify about being the victim because she's dead. Becker said that there's no evidence that the singer identified as Jane Doe number one in charging documents was even pregnant in the first place. Aaliyah, God rest her soul, passed away, she said, before urging jurors to hold the defense to proving that she was pregnant. Becker also urged the jury to be skeptical about the fake ID story. If Mr. Kelly was involved in a crime in 1994, would we be here today, she said, before being stopped by Judge Donnelly, who instructed Becker to discuss only what the evidence in the case was. The charges regarding Kelly. Mm -hmm. Man, dude. Uh, Short-lived sham marriage to Aaliyah form only a small part of the indictment brought against him in 2019. Prosecutors say that Kelly's inner circle amounted to a criminal enterprise. His employees not only sustained his musical career, but lured girls into having sex with him and imposed his will upon them, according to prosecutors. This case is about a predator. A man who for decades used his fame and his popularity in order to target girls, boys, and young women for his own sexual gratification. I don't know what man does it. Use people for their sexual gratifications. I mean, it's disgusting. Robert is disgusting. Rob, Rob, Rob. I don't know what to say. Um, uh, I just don't. I just don't. Your, your good thing has come to an end. Unfortunately, you cannot prosecute some of these parents that allowed their daughters to be set up like that because they should be on trial just like he should be on trial. This, this shit didn't happen in a vacuum. This did not. This, this shit couldn't have kept going without help. And all I'm saying. That we're going to hear a lot, a lot of trash as this story goes on and on. And um, for all the rest of you freaks out there. And mothers, you sell your daughters. <clears throat> no. No. <clears throat> Let your day is coming. What the hell is this? <clears throat> no, your day is coming. Wow, Vanessa uh, Bryant, on another note, Vanessa Bryant dropped off her daughter, Natalia, at USC. She said it was tough. She's going to USC. Anyway, she looked just like Kobe, too. With that being said, if the sun could shine on Jeffrey Dahmer, sheesh, so could shine on Rob. Uh, but he's 
got to do the time for the crimes that he's committed. So with that being said, I'm going to end this because it's so personal for me. I'm just going to let it go. With that being said, if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, share the channel. And hey, you guys, don't be afraid to cash app the channel. That's always available, and for a small, small fee of $5, you can join the Patreon crew um, because I'm putting content up on Patreon that uh, <laughs> that uh, um, I know y'all really want to see, and I don't have to worry about it getting flagged. So that's what, that's what it is. So... Let me see you be visible and give me your opinion. Let's talk about it. Tell me what you think about this trial with R. Kelly. And um, what do you want to see happen? Why don't you just leave your comment in the description box. Let me know what y'all think about this. Y'all think R. Kelly should spend the rest of his life in jail? Do you think some of them women that turned their daughters over to him? Because, see, I'm going to keep it 100. What about those women? That allow their daughters to lay down with Robert. Because I know a lot of them. And I've seen women come to our, uh, uh, Robert's concerts, um, R. Kelly shows with um, half naked and with their parents, mm. their mothers, looking for a come up. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop right here. But y'all know. Y'all know. Come on, streets. Y'all already know. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like and subscribe and share. When you look about show business and, uh, you know, the whole thing, I think about Esther Phillips, who was a full-fledged, probably heroin user, allegedly, at 13, singing in clubs. What do you think was happening? You know, if, and if Aretha Franklin got pregnant at 12, what do y'all think was happening with people? I mean, this shit ain't nothing new. Okay, come on. So stop acting so holier than thou. And let's just talk about what we're going to make rules and how the rules going to be applied. Elvis Presley, his ass brought uh, uh, Priscilla Presley from Germany when she went to 14 living with him. Let's keep this shit real or let's don't keep it at all. That's all I got to say. And I'm going to get off right now. Leave your comments, okay? All right.